Welcome back. So a lot of talk about these pardons and commutations mm -hmm. that Trump issued in his final day. He issued this at one this morning. The full list was released, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he waited right to the end. Right to the, he actually has until 12 noon today right. to release final pardons. But uh, we want to give you a highlight uh, highlights, I should say, of some of the higher profile ones and why they are significant. So let's go here. First, let's give you a bit of a fact board on some of the pardons. Okay, right. so 73 pardons and then commuted the sentences of 70 others. Very important. He did not pardon himself, Devo, his mm -hmm. family, or Rudy Giuliani. And some people were speculating that he may, but he did Which not. Which is interesting, yeah. Obviously, this is an optics thing as well, mm -hmm. right? Because he's looking to his future, and it'll, you'll see with who he pardoned as well. Okay. Uh, and so several of his allies. So let's bring up the first one here. And this is the biggest one that's drawing uh, attention, and this is Steve Bannon. Mm -hmm. uh, if that name sounds familiar to you, former White House uh, chief strategist, and he was an advisor in Trump's 2016 presidential run. He was part of that We Build the Wall campaign right. where uh, allegedly defrauding uh, a ton of donors here and pleaded not guilty. So, you know, the talk here is he's aligning himself, right? More on the business side uh, for his future. He's trying to figure out the next step. Right. So uh, that being said, you know, when you talk about pardons, whether or not they're self-serving or not, obviously there's going to be a bit of a bias on who you're pardoning indeed. Mm -hmm. um, and to give you some perspective as well, the numbers, the numbers when it comes to pardons and mm -hmm. commutations is not significant. Like Obama, uh, we look back, was yeah. about, about 300 in his final days when it came to pardons for some low-level offenses. So numbers aren't the thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's the who. Right? It's, it's the who. So who else do we have? Can we bring up some in the entertainment world? Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. This, this should be no surprise to people because Lil Wayne has kind of thrown his support behind Trump uh, mm -hmm. over the last little while, even for re-election. Uh, so Lil Wayne uh, received a pardon. He pled guilty, of course, to a gun possession charge. Uh, Lil Wayne has had some run-ins throughout the years, but this is the latest due to, uh, you know, having that history. He had uh, broken some probation and uh, some violations in that sense. So getting that pardon doesn't really surprise, surprise me. Uh, Kodak Black is another hip-hop artist yes. that uh, President Trump decided to pardon as well. And we can bring that one up as well. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about Kodak yeah. Black, there we go. <clears throat> so Sorry, commutation, excuse a me. A commutation, yeah. which is kind of like bringing it down, mm -hmm. right? Um, pleaded guilty to that weapons charge as well. And we've seen, you know, certain people are very outspoken throughout the last four years on his side. Yeah. And as you mentioned, Lil Wayne was a big one, right? Was out there. And then he got criticized yeah. for his support. I feel like even the hip-hop world and the music world kind of glossed over Lil Wayne. They're like, oh, it's yeah. Lil Wayne. He's been si sipping some syrup. You know, like, <laughs> just let him go. Let's leave it. It's, it's Lil Wayne. But, yeah, it's interesting how much support he'd given Trump over the last little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, again, we're going to wait because could this list extend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could. Like you said, till you know, noon today? We, I think it, technically it's till noon that we yeah. could still see some more names huh. come out. So. We'll watch all of that for you as we are watching everything happening in Washington today. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here. That list is long. We're going to get that on our website, citynews.ca. We'll be right back.